Good, good morning, good afternoon, and good night, and welcome to the vlog. And do you remember what movie that is? Jim Carrey, um, Truman Show. Welcome to the vlog. I'm gonna do something a little bit different today. I'm gonna share top 10 reasons, or top 10 things that I learned from my dad. Uh, a little while back, I wrote a post. This has been two years. I did a video on the passing of my dad just a few days back, and it didn't really come together how I wanted to. But I did find a post I wrote on it, um, I think last year, the top 10 things that I learned from my dad. So I'm gonna share them with you here today. The first one is never be afraid to ask questions. That's the best way to learn, ask questions and listen, versus just blah, 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 blah. If you don't ask, the answer is always no. Negotiate so that both sides are winning, rather than one party is getting everything that they need, whether it's all the talking or all the listening or all the learning, Everyone should win in the end. Negotiation, both sides, always ask questions. That's number one. Number two, always, always, and always be humble. No one wants to hear from the guy that accomplishes several things and reminds them of how they're not doing the same thing and how that person's so much better. Walking around with their chest all puffed out. No, no, have a lot of goals, complete those or crush those goals, be successful, be motivated, be energetic, but be humble. You don't have to go out and shout at everybody. Let your actions speak louder than your words. Ooh, I have to come outside since the sun is out even though you can see my breath. Number three is form relationships with people regardless of where they're from, what they look like, where they live. I think I already said that, but Treat them with ultimate respect in that you can learn from them and they can learn from you. There's a mutual understanding that you can build a relationship regardless of where they're from. Number four is always, this is probably one of my favorites, always find the story and the lesson in everything. Maybe that's why I love the story so much. I think of a few examples, but one of them that I think of recently, or actually it's quite a while ago. So I went to DC with my sister and she was running the marathon. I was supporting her. I think I ran more than she did. That was the joke, but I had to run and get some groceries for her to help her out. I ran across town, it rained. It was like, a, could have been a total mess, but I actually had a good time with it. And to this day, I still tell that story. It's not even four o'clock yet and the sun is going down already. You can't really tell here, but maybe I'll flip around, probably see a little bit better behind me. I'll put over in there. <laughs> Number five, can you guess what this is? <laughs> Smile and laugh more often. Every single day. Think about it. Are you doing this? Or I'm frantically trying to beat the sunset here. So I have to talk faster, faster even than before. <laughs> Ooh wee! That was my really bad Peter McKinnon impression. Sorry. But number six is spend quality time, quality time with the people that you love. Especially today is Cyber Monday. People get so lost in the consumerism, a whole nother topic there. And they forget, they get lost in all the stuff and they forget what the people, the relationships matter the most. Ask anyone, though, any, anyone that you know, a lot of times, what do they really want? They want time with the people that they really are close to and that they love. A little change of scenery and I'm going to rattle through the last several here, seven through 10, in a little, quick, a little quicker fashion because I don't want this video to go for 12 minutes or 15 minutes. Number seven, manage your money and invest wisely. My dad worked at the post office for 35 plus -ish years, and it's not a career path that you would think you're gonna be a financial guru. And he wasn't, but yet he learned a lot on his own. Self-learning, self-taught, he didn't really trust any other uh, people, and he did very well as far as percentage-wise return, and um, you know, all from just having an interest and in knowing the power of the leverage and how it can really benefit you as far as if you're frugal or if you make smart decisions, it was a little frugal in some areas, 
And that's a good thing because he's like, well, why would I need that? Invest wisely. Number eight, know your value system. Let me elaborate briefly on this as well. The value system that I see it as is not getting stuck in comparison and knowing who you are and what you believe in because if so-and-so across the street does this, this, and that, and they're doing all these other things that might be looked at society as, as accomplishment or success or whatever, but maybe in their eyes, that's the thing. But if you lose sight of what your own value is and your own goals and your belief system, then it doesn't matter. You know who you are, what you believe in, what your values are, you stand ground, you stand tall, and you never waver from that. He was fantastic at that. Number nine, know your faith, beliefs, and live it daily. He was very faithful and he knew exactly what he believed in and he always stuck to that. And he, he just, it, it, there's a pattern here. Knows what he wants, knew, and he did, and he always stood, stood tall to that and never wavered. So some of these point together. And number 10, live by your rules. This is the last one. Live by your rules with confidence. And confidence can be seen sometimes sometimes sound arrogant but it's not confidence with humbleness because that was earlier in the list you know what you're doing you're you're walking down that path you know where the goal is you're going right straight forward towards it and you're going to grab it confidence whatever it is if you have the shirt on that's maybe not in style which he also did you walk down the street and you own it you have, this is why aren't you wearing this shirt? That was my dad. These are the 10 things that I learned and there was so much more, but these are just some things that really came together. I put it in a post and I thought I'd share it with you guys. If you take anything out of that list, maybe just a small little thing that can apply to your life, that's winning. Until tomorrow. Oh, and before we leave for today, make sure you subscribe, you like, comment, hit the bell, do all the things, but I also would love to hear from you what else would you like to see? What are some struggles that you have in your life? All those things we're gonna incorporate into this channel. We're gonna talk about that. And you know, travel, adversity, adventure, getting over fear, relationships, fitness. That's what we talk about here.